while they go from one mad idea to another, it appears that Meghan Markle truly believes, alongside the former royal known as Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, that simply it's only a matter of time. As ever, let me explain. Morning, how are you? Nice to see you today. And as ever, thank you so much for taking the time out. Welcome one and all brand new subscribers. If I can just remind a lot of people as well, just to be polite and civil to each other. And as I've said before, please do not recommend other channels. It's not something I do. It's not something that I allow on the channel simply because I prefer to be independent. And given the fact that so many people borrow and steal literally everything from this channel and make videos themselves, I'm not really keen to cross promote as one can imagine. Hope you understand. Back as ever to your royal story of the day. Now, if you look at this picture, this picture really did signify just how thin on the ground senior royals are. There's no two ways about it. With the removal due to personal reasons of His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, Prince William, and of course, King Charles out of the picture, it was left to Queen Camilla to roll the, uh, the, run the show. And of course, you know, it is a personal family affair, a memorial, no two ways about it. But you see what the bigger picture picture over here, particularly in the United Kingdom, is literally how few people there are to call upon. Now, I don't know about you, I would disagree in many respects because I think a lot of people would like to see Princess Anne uh, far more up front as, you know, she already is, but I just think she does a splendid job representing the British monarchy. No fuss, no dividend, turns up and you know why she's there. An important lady, definitely. But over in Montecito, I've been told, and as ever we have to say allegedly, that both Meghan and Harry are kind of, shall we say, alerted to this picture, seemingly because they truly believe it will only be a matter of time before not, you know, the royals who say you've got to come back, but the great British public. I know. Truly, this is what I'm being told. You see, what Meghan believes, and as ever, allegedly, is the fact that, you know, what they need is glamour, youth, and of course, an invigoration of zest back into the setup of the monarchy. You see, what she and Harry wanted, as we all know, was a half in, half out. And even now, both Meghan and Harry truly believe that this could be something that could be ironed out in the future. Now, while we know that Prince Harry is still, you know, not going to be called upon as a counsellor of state, which did really hurt incredibly well. And of course, Frogmore Cottage was taken away from them as their UK base. Meghan truly believes the test of time will spin round in their favour, given the fact that it's going to be some time, of course, before His Majesty the King will be on full throttle uh, back from his recent health uh, setback. And then, of course, we've got the Princess of Wales with her uh, recent surgery. It's not going to be up and running, at least for the best part of six months, the way we know it, at least. And I'm being told that even now, Easter might be a little bit optimistic for the Princess of Wales. I'll keep you posted on that. But as you can imagine, over in Montecito, truly, their team, alongside Meghan and Harry, believe it's simply a moment where, at one point, they're going to have to be called upon. Now, whether that is Harry alone or indeed Meghan and Harry. And as we know, he doesn't want to do anything without her. So they come as a package. Will His Majesty the King be forced to reach out finally and suggest a return, a hybrid return? Meghan and Harry seem to think so. And as I said, quite literally in their minds, it's simply a matter of time. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.